Muhammad Umar Farooq Barijkal video, please make sure to subscribe, like and share the video. Ask the question for answer and comment for about the artwork. In this video we will talk about the photosynthesis reaction. That's the photosynthesis with that a light reaction. There's a light uh, dependent reaction and light independent reaction which collectively called is known as photosynthesis. Photo mean light and synthesis to making. So here is the photosystem uh, photosynthesis with that are uh, basically chloroplast which that are made up of uh, thylakoid membranes that thylakoid membrane contain about photolysis and photolysis go the electron will be produced and oxygen will be produced and there's oxygen uh, go into the environment and uh, primary acceptor will accept the electron by the exciting uh, for the energy uh, conservation resonance and uh, conservation to go the forward way and uh, primary acceptor uh, the reaction center will be accept the electron to excite so here we will talk about the here is the thylakoid membrane was and no we will talk about the photosystem uh, basically uh, thylakoid membrane is contain the different system uh, for light harvesting and here is the dark reaction which that a light independent reaction is known as galvin cycle which that are reduced the and carbon dioxide fixes fixation to produce the glucose by a rubisco enzyme using this activity the whole cycle will be rubisco is responsible for the production of starch sugars and amino acid and fatty acid and here is the input and here is the output now we will talk about the oxygen will be produced from the thylakoid membrane due to the uh, photolysis the water will be split to produce oxygen proton and electron and here is the light harvesting photosystem which that are energy of light photon absorbed by the photosynthetic pigment that photosynthetic pigment molecule is transferred from molecules to uh, basically uh, is uh, transferred from molecule to molecules it means the molecule to molecule the chlorophyll molecule will transfer the uh, electron to another molecule and finally reach the reaction center with actual energy conservation uh, conversion or uh, begin now we will talk about the chloroplast is here which that is organelle double membrane bounded organelle which contain a thylakoid membrane that's a cranium and here is a cranium which contain a water to produce oxygen and nadph and atp that's go into the calvin cycle by the fixation of carbon dioxide to produce sugar that sugar will be go into the mitochondria but first of all we will discuss about the reaction to produce sugar so here is the water which photolysis to produce oxygen electron and proton that's electron go into the photosystem too and jumping the electron to conserve the energy to move more exciting and for uh, a chlorophyll containing pigment which that are 680 a nanometer range of the uh, light which accept an electron excite that's known as the protein is present is known as primary acceptor that's primary acceptor protein which transferred the electron to the plastoconine that's the plastoconine which uh, electron will accept and two electron basically uh, one electron but a uh, one water supply to two produce electron that's a plastoconine there's a peak out which accept the uh, electron and go into the cytochrome complex. That's the cytochrome complex is a protein. That's the enzymatic activity to produce ATP from ADP. There's an electron flow uh, provides energy for chemiosmotic synthesis of protein. That's known as chemiosomosis. The chemiosomosis means the chemical uh, which uh, 
uh, with higher constriction to lower constriction of energy that's the atp produced from adp that is known as photophosphorylation because the photons are involved in the phosphorylation of uh, phosphate from adp to atp that's the another electron transfer to the plastocyanin that's the electron move and go into the photon uh, which that accept the 700 nanometer of light that's electron accept and again primary electron acceptor which that are accept the electron from the protein and that's protein will transfer to the electron uh, transport chain that's the electron transport chain is the uh, accept the electron is known as fd that's known as ferrodoxine there's a ferrodoxine is the uh, go into the another enzyme that is known as nadp reductase there's nadp reductase is two nadp and one proton and uh, two proton and two electron we combine together to give a uh, nadph or uh, nadh that's the two nad plus plus two hydrogen uh, ion uh, electron and proton which combine to give a uh, two hydrogen that is combined to two NADH that is known as Z scheme model because its shape is like Z so here is the ATP and NADPH is the ready for go into the Kelvin cycle that is known as dark reaction that's a dark reaction because the light is not depend to the uh, to this cycle so that's the c cycle is begin by the adding of carbon dioxide that's input and glucose and fatty acid and amino acid is output that's input and output will be we will discuss this first is here that is the basically the uh, structure of uh, that is a stroma and here is the thylakoid uh, interior space and uh, here is the membrane uh, and the outer side is a proton now we will talk about the uh, thylakoid membrane is uh, inner side and outside the reaction uh, of the thylakoid and here is the membrane of the thylakoid there's a thylakoid membrane contain a different enzyme is which is made up of protein that is the photosystem 2 that is first involved the photosystem 2 and there's the thylakoid uh, mem interior space as present and the lumen it is known as lumen and here is the photolysis and water will split into oxygen and proton and electron e electron will go into the photosystem 2 there's a photosystem to is transfer the electron to another um, protein channel uh, uh, or another protein uh, acceptor that's a protein acceptor his here is the basically known as plastoquinine pq which that transfer the plastocyanin and uh, toward the plastocyanin and that's the red color it's known as the plastocyanin and here is the basically uh, is the plastocyanin there's a go into the plastocyanin the electron will go into the plastocyanin uh, acceptor and that is accept the electron for plastocyanin and this lose the energy too much and there's the photosystem too which that are accept the um, electron and go into the uh, downward that is known as the ferrodoxine that is the another acceptor and here is the photon which that involved to excite the electron again and there the electron is going to the uh, basically NADP reductase enzyme that is NADP reductase enzyme which that are reduce the NADP into NADPH there's the NADPH is the uh, proton donor and that is involved in the Kelvin cycle and ATP is also involved in this uh, manner and end in DPH basically uh, NADPH uh, basically used for the uh, 
produc production of sugar from the Calvin cycle. So here is the NADP converted into NADPH and ferrodoxine is the uh, major transfer to the NADPH uh, NADP reductase that is known as uh, electron transport chain and here outer side is the proton which that go by a channel is known as ATP synthase that is the ATP synthase enzymatic activity of this channel which go the proton inside of the thylakoid uh, uh, membrane uh, that is the stroma basically outside of the uh, outside of the uh, lumen that is the stroma that is the stroma is the outside basically and go the electron outside and there is the outside of go the electron to produce ADP to inorganic phosphate to convert ATP that is the important quality to produce so here is the too much NADP H and ATP is produced which that are ready to go into the Kelvin cycle which that are present in the outer side of the thylakoid membrane is known as stroma and upper side was the anterior side and uh, inner side is known as the thylakoid membrane uh, stroma outside basically uh, reverse uh, because I draw the um, like that structure and here is the Kelvin cycle which that are three phases the carbon fixation which that are input three carbon uh, three carbon dioxide which fix and go into the by the ribulose bisphosphate convert into the uh, six molecule of three phosphoglycerate because three uh, uh, three uh, ribulose bisphosphate RUBP uh, is the carbon five uh, five into three and there's uh, uh, eighteen and eighteen uh, into three into six in eighteen is equal and here is the ATP a uh, convert into ADP and NADP H convert into NADP that's the uh, reduction phase because ATP uh, used to uh, NADP used to produce the sugar that is the basically glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate uh, six molecules are produced and the six molecules it produced which then one molecule is separate and another molecule five molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate go into again convert again going to the cycle begin by the regeneration that's a regeneration is the process in which three atp used to three adp conversion of ribulose bisphosphate is produced uh, ribulose bisphosphate again will be cyclic activity so here is the uh, equation of three carbon dioxide and six nadph and nine atp used to produce sugar so here is the production of G3P glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate that's combined to glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate combined to give a sugar that is known as fructose or glucose that is the glucose or fructose is because there's the six carbon are uh, due to the three glyceraldehyde uh, 3 phosphate which that are uh, produced uh, to combine to give a fructose 1 6 bisphosphate that is due to the reverse aldolase phospho uh, reduc uh, phospho uh, fructokinase enzyme to uh, reverse aldolase enzyme which that are uh, basically reversion of the uh, fructose uh, reversion of the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and this glyceraldehyde we don't worry about that that's uh, uh, just uh, about the knowledge that the reversion of the basically starch uh, conversion we are going to the conversion of the starch from glucose so here is the basically a uh, starch synthase enzyme we choose to produce uh, first of all we will talk about the fructose 1 6 bisphosphate is produced uh, by the reverse aldolase enzyme and that enzyme will be produced uh, fructose 1 6 bisphosphate so here is the phosphate group attached and the water used to uh, detachment of the uh, phosphate group 
to produce ATP. That's ADP convert into ATP, and here is the two ATP will be produced to convert the glucose uh, into without phosphate group that is known as glucose. So here is the basically uh, glucose will be produced. That glucose is convert into the starch or in the form of fruit that is known as fructose is the major uh, component of the uh, fruit or some uh, we will talk about the grains or um, another things which that are glucose basically another so here is the glucose phosphate uh, basically phosphatase glucose phosphatase uh, Reoxy, uh, glucose phosphatase oxidase enzyme is used to convert the basically uh, glucose simple glucose which that is here and that glucose is uh, using for the conversion of the starch synthase enzyme using uh, to produce the starch <coughs> So here is the glucose uh, which that is convert into the basically uh, basically is uh, glucose uh, in the form of fructose in the uh, fruit and here is the fruit that is the basically the structure of fruit is here and another is the starch synthase enzyme used to convert the uh, grains and another wheat or corn zia maize and oryza sativa and another type of uh, uh, another type of grains which that is made up of uh, starch that is rich of the starch and amylo amylose basically starch and amylopectin that's the amylose and amylopectin is the branch of the glucose which that are stored into the plant in the form of grains or another form of the uh, glucose that is in the fruit that is the fructose which that is simple sugar so i hope you make the concept about the photosynthesis that was the overview of the photosynthesis uh, we will talk about in the another video about the full detail so here uh, is the complete video is done